Hi, my name is Josh Vandermarten. For this project, I performed two experiments, the first being the formation of a caldera. For this experiment, I used a cardboard box, a red balloon to mimic a full magma chamber, a rubber band, and some plastic tubing to control the pressure inside the balloon. I then inserted the tubing through a hole punched into the cardboard and attached it to the balloon with a rubber band. The balloon was then blown up and flour was poured over the top of it to act as the volcano itself. In this slow motion footage, I released all of the air inside the balloon, causing collapse of the volcanic peak. In caldera forming eruptions, a magma chamber is emptied of its contents, usually magma, but in this case air. The empty space beneath the main vent becomes unstabilized, and the weight of the volcano itself causes collapse into the voided magma chamber. As you can see in this footage, concentric ring-shaped fractures form around the edge of the volcano. As they continue to form, the center begins collapsing inward until the volcano is again stable. These ring-shaped fractures can then act as volcanic vents in future occurring eruptions. Here are some still frame photos taken in different lighting to accentuate the ring fractures. In this next experiment, I modeled the formation of a spatter cone volcano using the combustion reaction of ammonium dichromate. This reaction can be heard as the powder ignites and hurls small pieces of chromate from the reaction center. These then pile up into a cone. The spatter cone is a small 10 to 20 foot cone of welded chunks of lava called spatter that is thrown from the vent in a fountain of lava. The lava is thrown from expanding gases escaping through the central vent. These types of cones are usually formed from low silica and low viscosity magma like basalts found at some Hawaiian volcanoes. The highly fluid nature of this lava allows for the spatter to pile up into steep sided structures. Thanks for watching.